everyone, welcome to my channel, 10 Ways to Wear It. I'm Alicia, and on this channel, I take one fashion item or one fashion trend and show you all 10 different ways to wear it. Now, today is going to be another part to my wardrobe essential series. We are going to be talking all about jeans. Y'all know there is nothing like a good pair of jeans, y'all. When you find them jeans that just snatch you up, make you feel good, make you feel sexy, make you feel luxurious, it's nothing like it, right? Well, I found that I was reaching for the same jeans over and over, and most of the jeans that I had were actually getting neglected. So I went ahead and did a major declutter recently. I got rid of the ones that just weren't being worn, weren't being used, donated them, sold some of them. So today's video is going to be my lineup of the jeans that I think every woman should have in her wardrobe. I have seven different styles for you all. I'm going to be styling up each style of jeans twice, so two different ways. So I got a lot to talk about and a lot to show y'all today. So let's go ahead and get into this video all about the essential jeans that every woman should have in her wardrobe. Let's do it. Okay, you all, so jumping right into the video, the first pair of jeans that I think every woman should have in her wardrobe is a good pair of fit and flare jeans. Now these sometimes are called bell bottoms, some people call them just flares, but they're basically jeans that really fit you well on the top and through the thighs and then flare out at the bottom. I love these jeans because I'm not super curvy and they really do add nice dimensions to my body. I really love the shape that they give me, so I think it's great to have a good pair of fit and flare jeans, no matter what your shape is, whether you're an apple shape, a pear shape, whether you're, you know, heavy on the top, thick on the bottom, whatever, they pretty much flatter every shape universally. So I love a good pair of fit and flare jeans. Free People has amazing fit and flare jeans, but I found a really nice pair of Wrangler jeans at Amazon that I'm gonna be styling up two ways for you all. Personally, jeans are the one thing that I'm willing to invest in. So I I have spent some good money on some jeans. Um, usually I try to cap it at like $200, but honestly, I did buy a pair of Ago jeans recently that were like 350. So I guess jeans are something that I'm willing to actually invest in but in the insert you're gonna see right now I styled up the Wrangler jeans that I picked up recently from Amazon two different ways in the first look I styled them with a really cute orange and brown 70s print top from Boohoo I think those jeans go so well with that top because they already give me 70s vibes I also threw on a brown belt and my Kenneco platforms with the look to kind of give that 70s vibe all around and I think this is such a cute way to style up a pair of flit and flare jeans on the second look I kept it pretty simple with a blue and white striped top from Target threw that on with some platforms Form sneakers, my Puma sneakers, and I love this look as well. It's great for like a weekend chill, you know, doing nothing kind of day. So I love both of these looks styling up my Fit and Flare Wrangler jeans. I'm gonna link some Fit and Flare jeans for you all, of course. I find that they usually have a nice amount of stretch as well, so you can usually size down a size or two if you want them to really snatch you up. But yes, a Fit and Flare pair of jeans is a must for your wardrobe. Let's go ahead and move on to the next style. Okay, so jumping right into our next style of jeans, this is definitely going to be one of my favorite jeans that I have in my wardrobe, and that is a pair of black skinny jeans. Now, I'm being specific about the skinny because I think skinny jeans do serve a purpose in most of our wardrobes. I know there's been people talking about getting rid of skinny jeans and don't buy skinny jeans, but honestly, I don't listen to them, and most of them don't dress that cute anyway, in my opinion. They're kind of boring, but um, I love a good pair of skinny jeans. I think they really do come in handy in the fall and winter when you want to tuck them into your boots and things like that, and they're just great for creating a nice snatch look so I love skinny jeans I'm gonna be styling up my black Levi 721 jeans you can definitely get more affordable black jeans at other places Fashion Nova has some good ones but I honestly think the Levi 721s are a great investment so mine has lasted for years I love them but I'm gonna be styling mine up two different ways for you all in the inserts in the first pop-up you're gonna see them styled up with a really cute black and white pussy bow style top from Shein and I threw them on with my cream or off-white peep toe nine west booties from macy's that i recently picked up i love this look it's great for a date night a girl's night out it's classy it's cute and you see that those skinny jeans definitely are snatching me up honey i love a good pair of black skinny jeans in the second look i styled up the jeans with a green camisole from target my camouflage jacket that i've had for years from tj maxx and some really cute green heels by the brand journey from macy's i love this look as well and as you can see you can have a lot of fun with with black skinny jeans they are not played out they're not out of style it really just depends on how you wear them and you know how you fit them into your style but do not listen to people telling you what to wear and what not to wear honestly I mean I'm encouraging you all to look into some different styles of jeans but I'm definitely not telling you get rid of this it's out of style I hate those kind of videos so don't let people influence you in that way a good pair of black skinny jeans is a must in my opinion if there's people who disagree I respect that 
but uh, over here we gonna wear our skinny jeans so that was two different looks with the black Levi 721s I love a good pair of black skinny jeans I'm ready to be snatched in mine let's go ahead and move on to the next style so the next style of jeans that I think is great to have in your wardrobe, and this is like a forever classic, it's bootcut jeans. I mean, we all gotta have a good pair of bootcut jeans. And what makes bootcut jeans different than like fit and flare jeans is because fit and flare jeans are flared, okay? They out, like out. Bootcut jeans are kind of just more like a straight leg jean, but just a little bit of flare out towards the bottom part. So I really like that shape as well. It's classic. It goes with any styles of tops. You can wear them with any style of shoes, dressy suits, sneakers, whatever. So I love having a good pair of nice fitting bootcut jeans in my wardrobe. I recently picked up a few pairs of Lee jeans, and that's what I'm going to be styling up one of those pairs for you all two different ways. I have those jeans in a dark wash. I have them in white, and I have them in the color that you're going to see which is sort of like a mid to light wash but I love those Lee jeans they are an investment but honestly they were worth it I wear them so much but in the first look that you're gonna see pop up I style them with a cre cream colored satin top that's from H&M I threw on a gold belt and some cute gold heels just to dress them up a little bit that's a cute look for like a date night a girl's day out if it's somebody's birthday that's a cute little look to wear and it shows you that bootcut jeans can be dressed up in the second look I styled them with this high neck pink top that you're looking at those jeans and my pink Sam Edelman loafers and I think this is such a cute look for the weekend maybe if you're doing something casual just like a casual dinner with friends or something this is a really cute look so as you can see bootcut jeans can be dressed up or they can be dressed down they can be dressed somewhere in the middle whatever you do make sure they fit well and work them I love a good pair of bootcut jeans and I'll definitely link mine as well as some other options for you all but let's go ahead and move on to the next style of jeans so the next pair of jeans that I think every woman should have in her wardrobe if she chooses to is a pair of white jeans. Now I'm not going to get specific about the shape on the white jeans because for some of us we like skinny white jeans, for some of us we like boot cut white jeans, for some of us we like fit and flare white jeans, for some of us we like straight leg white jeans, and some of us may like cropped white jeans. I'm going to tell you right now I have all of those. I have all of them and that is after my declutter I still have all of them because I love white jeans especially during the spring and summer I don't dress super naked or you know super scantily clad during the spring and summer so white jeans are something that I reach for I'll throw them on with like a cute little tube top or something and that's about as hoochie as it gets for me but I really do love a good pair of white jeans I'm gonna be styling up my free people fit and flare jeans these jeans flatter my shape a lot so I really do love them I wanted to do those for this video and I style them up of course in two different ways you gonna see the first insert pop up right now in the first look I styled up the white jeans with a striped tan and white top that is from Target and I really like that look it's simple it's cute threw it on with my Kinecole platforms to kind of lift me up a little bit because those uh, free people jeans are a little long they're raw hem so you can always cut them but I just like to keep them long because they just make me look taller you feel me but yeah that's a really cute look showing you kind of like a monochrome look because you can barely see those stripes it's almost like I'm wearing all white and I love that look it's a little scary but I love that look it's super classy <laughs> in the second look I styled up the white jeans with a tan colored turtleneck and some leopard print booties I love this look as well this is a classy way to uh, wear the um, jeans it looks super nice clean cut you can always throw on a modal jacket with this look a blazer or you can throw on something heavier I'm not doing too much outerwear with these looks but you know you all can definitely tailor it however you need to for your climate I'm just kind of doing the basic base looks for you all but I love both of these looks featuring my white fit and flare jeans from free people like I said won't get too much into the styles that I think you should have I have a few different styles of white jeans but I think it's essential to at least have some style of white jeans in your wardrobe because they really will come in handy they're classy they're classic and they're just a must let's go ahead and move on so moving on to our next style of jean, we talked about black skinny jeans as being a jean that I think every woman should have, but there's another color of skinny jeans that I think we all should have as well, and that is a denim washed jean. So basically a blue jean in a skinny style. I think that is essential to have. Again, these are great for styling up during the fall and winter because you can tuck your boots in them, but they're also great to wear during the spring and summer as well. I love a good pair of denim skinny jeans for the spring and summer as well. So I'm gonna be styling up 
my favorite pair of denim colored skinny jeans. They are the Old Navy Rockstar jeans and I've shared them with you all in past videos. I've talked to you about how much I love those jeans because they're another jean that helps me to flatter my shape and really bring out the best of my shape. I just love the way they kind of lift up my butt, make my stomach look flat, make my thighs look a little curvier. So I love those Old Navy Rockstar jeans. I'm not a big Old Navy shopper, but I will go in there and get me some Rockstar jeans. That I will. <laughs> so I styled up my Old Navy Rockstar jeans in two different ways for you all. You're going to see the first look pop up right now. In the first look, I styled them with a really cute orange polka dot wrap top. As you can see, it's like in an orange and black pattern. Super cute. That is from Shein. I threw on my orange blazer by Topshop and some black heels with the look to kind of finish it off. That is a perfect date night look. It's super cute, a little dressy, a little bit fun with those color pops. I really like that look. And to recreate it, all you'll need is a nice little wrap top and a blazer and some cute heels. So love that for us. <laughs> in the second look, I styled up those skinny jeans with a white blouse. I threw on a red little boucle style of jacket and some over the knee plaid red boots, honey. And is this look not hitting? Yes, it is. It is bomb. I really like both of these looks styling up my skinny denim colored jeans. I think they're really great looks. Super easy to recreate except for the boots, you know, you'd have to order those. I'll link them for you all, but as you can see, a pair of denim skinny jeans is super versatile. You can style them up with over the knee boots. You can't really do that with like boot cut or wide cut jeans. You can't really do those over the knee and you know, knee high boot styles of looks. So all these people telling you no more skinny jeans, girl, bye. <laughs> Get you a pair of denim color skinny jeans and rock them all year long. They're super versatile, they're multi-seasonal, and they're just good to have. Let's go ahead and move on to the next style. So the next pair of jeans that I think is good for us all to have in our wardrobe, and honestly, this could have been number one because this contains my favorite jean that I wear all the time, and that is a pair of straight leg jeans. Now, we all know straight leg jeans basically are jeans that don't have any curve to them much. They kind of just fall straight on your legs. They might fit a little bit more in the thigh area, but at that ankle, they really are just straight, so you don't have that flare or that boot cut or anything like that. Straight leg jeans are wonderful, and I always talk to you all about my Levi's 501 jeans that I wear so much. I love my 501 originals. They're straight leg jeans. They're super flattering and I just love them so much y'all. So I'm going to be styling up those in two different ways for you all. My Levi 501s. They're in sort of like a medium wash. So this is like a really good neutral pair of jeans that you can wear with all different types of styles. I created two looks for you all. You'll see the first one pop up right now. In that first look, I styled up the Levi's 501 jeans with my gray sweater from Fashion Nova and some gray sneakers so a really simple chill weekend look not doing too much not doing too little just doing exactly what needs to be done if you feel me but I love this look for a nice chill weekend look if I'm just running around a target or something like that that is the look I would throw on in the second look I kind of dressed them up a little bit by throwing on a really cute green top a leopard print belt and some green booties to kind of tie in with the green in the top so slightly more dressed up but not doing too much either but as you can see Levi 501s are definitely something that I love having in my wardrobe because they're just a nice fitting pair of straight leg jeans. You all see me style them up all the time so if you need other ideas on how to style them I give y'all ideas in almost every video. I mean those jeans make an appearance in almost every video and I have probably six pairs of Levi 501s now. Um, I do have them in different washes and some of them have distressing as well. Some of them came with distressing, some of them I distressed myself but I love a good pair of straight leg jeans and I'll link some for you. I'll link the Levi 501s that I have, but I'll also link some other straight leg jeans that are more affordable. I recently picked up a really great pair from Target, so I probably could have used those in the video as well, but um, I decided to do my favorites. But let's go ahead and move into our last style of essential jeans, and this one is a fun one. Okay, you all, so getting into my last style of jean, this is one that I think is a lot of fun, but it's definitely not for every woman out there. So this one is not gonna hit with everybody, but it is Distress or Destroy Jeans. I personally think they're great to have because of the versatility. You can have a lot of fun with them, but I know not every woman likes distressing or like really destroyed jeans. So if you don't, you got six styles that I love that are not distressed. But right now we're talking about torn up jeans. We're talking about showing some thigh, okay? Little peaks here and there. I love a good pair of distressed jeans. I think they're super fun to style up. Definitely could be more of a West Coast thing because we love a good pair of tore up jeans out here. They like dirty sneakers too out here. 
I don't do dirty sneakers. I'm gonna clean my sneakers, but they do that sometimes. But we love a good pair of distressed jeans. And I'm gonna be styling up my Joe's jeans. I bought those from the thrift store and they had no distressing on them. I distressed them myself. So that's always an idea for you all. If you want to create some distressed or destroyed jeans, go to the thrift store and get you some Levi's and tear them up. That way you didn't spend $100 on some jeans that you are just gonna rip up. Okay, have some fun with that. But I'm gonna be styling up my Joe's jeans two different ways for you all. I've created two looks. In the first one you're gonna see pop up right now, I styled it with a little black pearl embellished top. It's sort of like a puffy sleeve top. Threw on my black sock booties by Bershka with the look. Kept it real simple as far as the top and the boots, but I think those jeans really do make a statement with that look. So I really do like it. If you have some distressed jeans, you can always throw them on with a more elegant top to create contrast. You can have so much fun with a pair of distressed or destroyed jeans. And if you're like a college student, they look good with like a baggy sweatshirt and sneakers. Girl, I could go on and on. Anyway, let's get into the second look you're gonna see pop up right now. I styled them up, basically kept on the same outfit, but I wanted to to show you all how you can wear them in the fall so I threw on some leopard print and leggings under the jeans so I didn't create two full looks but you all know the gist of how to style them up because I style those Joe's jeans all the time in videos for you all I've shared them a ton I've styled them with sequin tops tool tops I've styled them with t-shirts y'all have seen those a lot but as you can see you can definitely continue to wear your distressed or destroyed jeans in the fall and winter all you got to do is throw on some leggings under them so you want them to be kind of a size or a stretchiness that you can wear leggings under them you can also do tights under them you can have some fun with it girlfriend whatever you want to do but as you can see distressed or destroyed jeans are super fun they're sexy they're great for creating those going out looks so I think they're a good thing to have in your wardrobe so if you are into it get you a pair of distressed or even destroyed jeans and have some fun with them girlfriend Thank you all so much for checking out this video all about the essential jeans that every woman should have in her wardrobe. Of course, you don't need all seven of these styles of jeans. You want to go with whatever works for your body, and all of these styles may not, but I think these are the most common, and I think these styles pretty much flatter most of us. One tip that I would love to give you when you're searching for jeans is to make sure that they fit. I used to buy jeans that were too small, and they would always give me like a muffin top and make my shape look really bad, so make sure your jeans fit. You may have to go up a size up if you want them to really fit your thighs but what you don't want is for them to be like sagging down in the middle because you can't pull them all the way up and you don't want them to be too big either so make sure you're buying jeans that fit your body that might mean you have to go with more elastic in your jeans you might have to go with jeans that have a little stretch to them or you just may have to go with certain styles but make sure they fit and if you have to invest in some tailoring I think 20 or 25 dollars is worth it to get a really good pair of jeans in your wardrobe that fit you nicely I think it's worth the investment but I hope you all enjoyed this video definitely leave me a comment let me know if I missed anything on this list. Is there any style of jean that you would add to this list? Is there any tips that you can give us all for searching for and finding the best jeans for our bodies? I'd love to talk to you about it more in the comments. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go if you're not subscribed. And of course, to all my regulars, I love y'all so much. Y'all know we always here. I love y'all and I will see all of you on the next video. Next up, we'll be talking about dresses. My favorite subject. I really love dresses. <laughs>